Hey, Plant Pals, I'm Mike the Gardener, and today's video is me setting up the Aero Garden Sprout that I got as a gift from my wife. I'm going to show you how I personally like to set it up. You can use the pods that they give you. I like to buy their Grow Anything kit or just uh, extra pods and extra sponges off of Amazon, and I grow my own things. And I'm going to try to grow this purple basil here. Looks beautiful. Might germinate, might not. We'll see. I'm going to take you along with me as I try. And the way I like to set up my... As I boil in the microwave the sponges with a little bit of water so that I make sure there's no fungus gnats or anything that could be introduced into the, uh, into the garden that I don't want. And it's a very simple setup. I take the sponge, do this, squeeze a little bit of the extra moisture out so I don't drip everywhere, drop this in, see it's all swollen up with the, with the moisture, and what I like to usually do, the way I do it is I usually put the seeds in first, let's see if I can do all this on camera, if it's just me by myself of course, it takes me like 10 seconds to do, I've got my Tweezers here, but I'm hoping I won't need it. Drop a few seeds down there into the hole. See, hopefully get at least one in there properly. Yeah, looks like I got a couple. And then I'll thin them out. Especially when you have like tiny little black seeds like this that you can't see. I like to thin them out just to be sure. And what I do is I take a piece of aluminum foil and I wrap it around. Compress everything down, and I'll take my tweezers, and I'll poke a little hole so that the when the sprout, the sprout doesn't need light when it starts, but once it gets going, it'll have a hole to poke through and grow up to the light. And this is a method that works usually pretty well for me. All right, I'm going to repeat this process. I won't bore you with <laughs> having to do that. And then I'll take you over to where I have my sprout unit set up. Once I get all the seeds in these, and uh, I'll plug it in and get it started. I'll just show you how easy that is. Very simple. All right, be right back. All right, I have put the seeds in, and I have put the, the pods with the sponges and the seeds into their respective holes there, and all I need to do is add some water, which I have here. Try again, not to make a huge mess because I'm trying to do this on camera. Let's see as I go. And I, what you do is you just fill it until it reaches the fill line. It doesn't take much. This is a small unit. It's just a little 10 watt system, but it works really good. Let me see. I can't see. <laughs> I don't want to rely on the. Oh, there we go. Going here until it reaches the fill line. And perfect. Alright. I like to do tool, it's just barely reaching the fill line. And what I'll do is I'll take one cap fill of the liquid plant fluid, shake it up, put the cap full in. I won't show you that, that's boring. <laughs> I'm going to plug the unit in. And I'll be back. So again, one capful of the plant food into the water. Alright, the plant food is in. Lift this up and show you that the pump is circulating back there. See the water action? That's the pump. So we are good to go. Now, all we have to do is put the moisture domes over the top, well, put the cover back like that, and the objective is to keep the light out so it doesn't form algae. There's a little window down here, but that doesn't seem to affect it at all. And I will give you a tip that I like to do to start my seeds. This right here is a weak hydrogen peroxide solution. It's like 
fourth of a teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide in this whole thing of water. And what I do to get my seeds going is I give it a little blast. I missed, oops, I didn't actually show that on camera. Uh, trying to do these things one handed. But I misted the inside of the lid here with that weak solution. And then I just set it on top of there. It doesn't have to be airtight. And I'm going to repeat that for all of them. The light, as you can see right now, is high, so I can film it. And I will lower it down once I put the uh, give it a little spritz of the solution and put the cap on. I will lower the uh, light down so the system is set up and ready to go. And it'll come on every day at the exact same time, and it'll shut off. Uh, I believe it's 16 hours for these units. And we'll see. We'll see how this uh, basil grows in this unit. I've never tried to grow that variety of basil in these units. This is a, an experiment. And hopefully it'll be fun. All right. I will keep you updated on the successes or failures. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.